um, we're here in uh, the Broadway Westminster, <laughs> surrounded by all the noises you're getting in Westminster. We're launching your book, uh, Discerning Tourist Guide to the End of the World. Um, now, obviously, I'm biased because uh, we've published it. I think it's fantastic. I, I, I think I'm biased as well. Let's, yeah. uh, yes, crack on. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, um, why did you choose here for the book launch? It's a particularly appropriate venue because we are a few hundred yards from a cathedral where people, if the end of the world is happening, can run to and pray for their souls. Yep. We are a few hundred uh, metres away from the House of Commons, which in all good end of the world movies gets massively blown apart. <laughs> this is massive special effects. <laughs> uh, but we're also outside a pub called um, The Old Star, which is symptomatic yep. of the end of a solar system. And to boot, a few hundred yards, not one but two 17th century plague pits, which remind us oh, really? of, indeed of the mortality of human beings and the, the very real threat which uh, permanently uh, hangs over us like a Damoclean blade, which we forget a lot of our power. It's human nature for us to, to forget the fragility of our existence uh, against features and factors which are beyond our control, let alone those like nuclear warfare which, um, you know, for the pros and cons of nuclear um, uh, deterrence and so on and so forth, are they quite threat? And there are many other threats as well around us, of which we have far less control. So it's an appropriate venue from that side of things. And also, on top of that, of course, we're not too far away from places like the Department of Health and the Foreign Office, where if there were a catastrophe, people would be running to in the middle of the night. In fact, just checking there are no cars going there, like, no, no, I think we're safe in there. Next five minutes anyway where if there were a crisis, they would wish to try these sort of things out. So it's, it's kind of like symbolic mm. of you know, all the things that could possibly go wrong in that encapsulated in one location.